guys, so I was getting ready to go today and I wanted to film this really quick video because um, I have a sort of go-to smoky eye look. Um, I would say that it's a long time favorite look of mine. If you've been with me a long time, you'll know why. Um, just two, really one main go-to, that's not it, where is it, right here. Um, Duo by NARS that I can't live without. I've talked about this for years, but if you have this, you can really do so much. Um, it is the NARS Cordura. Seriously, like Magic Eye Duo. It's my favorite. And I did combine a little bit of another one, but it's just all about Eve, which is very, very simple color. So not even necessary. You probably have something similar to that. Um, but just the best, most like buttery colors. The Cordura blends together like nothing else. I have loved that for years. This is actually my second one. Um, but yeah, it's just so wonderful. I can't say enough good things about it. But this is a look that I like to do when I have events, like if I'm any like meetups or um, IMATs or if I'm going out to a dinner or not even like anything for YouTube, but just if I know that I want my makeup to look good and you know, we always have those combos that we like. Um, that you know will look good. You don't have to put much thought into just, you know, like your favorite sweater or your favorite pair of jeans or just something that you know will always work. That's what Cordura is for me and that's what this look is. So really simple as you can know, I didn't even put my necklace on. Not even very dressed up today, but it totally works with what I'm wearing. Um, you could wear it to the fanciest, nicest, most elegant of events. You could wear it to a concert. You could wear it literally anywhere. Um, and also that being said, you could wear it like to the grocery store and not look like you're crazy or that like, you know, you won't get any weird looks at the store or anything. So to me, this is just the epitome of like the perfect smoky eye. I will stop rambling about it and jump right in. Uh, but I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see exactly how I did it step by step, then keep watching. Look how big he's getting. I heard him wandering around in the background and I thought I'd let him say hi. He's like so big. I'm like out of breath trying to hold him up. Um, can you believe how big he's gotten? Like I can't. I just can't. He's like, okay, do I have to keep doing this? Let me say hi, though. No? Okay, see ya. All right, see ya. He's like, stop talking to the camera and come play with me. Okay, guys, if you want to see how to do it, then keep watching. I'm going to start with this eyeshadow base and Composed by Sigma Beauty. And I'm going to put that all over my lids just with my fingertip. You can even put just a bit right up underneath your eye, right on the corners. You don't want to go down too far though. I'm taking NARS Cordura and an E55 brush. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows by NARS. Just one of my favorite eyeshadow duos ever. I'm going to pat that lighter half all over my lid. Then I'm taking a big blending brush, this is an E40, and that same color, and just lightly blending that into the crease and bringing it up just a bit onto the brow bone. I'm sort of using this like I would like MAC Soft Brown or something like that, except rather than blending later, we're going to go ahead and use it now so we can just apply the colors, or the darker colors, under it. I'm going to take the darker side and an E25 brush and I'm going to put that color right in the crease and I'm actually going to go all the way in. You don't have to pull it up or anything because we've already created the blend with the other shade. These colors just blend together so easily. Then taking that same shade in an E30 brush, just going to bring it down and connect the color. If you want a more dramatic look, you can bring it all the way in. I'm going to stop it about right there. Then I'm going to take the All About Eve Duo. Both of these shades are really similar. I'm actually going to take this one that appears to be just a little lighter. It's the one on the right, holding it upside down. So if you're looking at the, um, if you're looking at it, it's this one here on the right. Just a little bit under the brow. You don't do anything super harsh. This is 
a softer, smoky look. You can even sweep just a little bit right there. Sort of bring it down. A little bit of demolition by Urban Decay right at the waterline. Just filling in the lashes. I'll take that all the way in. And then I'm going to use my Ico eyeliner. Getting really thin on that inner part and then making it get a little thicker as you go out. That's just always the most flattering way, I think. And a small wing. We've already lined the waterline down here, but you can also just sort of lightly connect it right there so that you're not like coating the waterline with it because we've already done that with the brown. But just a pretty connection on that lower outer corner. I'm going to use my Armani Eyes to Kill. For my cheeks, I'm using one of the new ambient lighting blushes in Luminous Flush. This one's super pretty. It's really bright pink. These really do show up a lot, and this is actually one of the lighter tone. I mean, considering the other ones, there's a lot of other. Um, but they really are super versatile. I'm going to have to sheer this one out a bit. Sometimes the blush doesn't show up as dark as it actually is on the camera. It's really, really pretty. It's sort of just like a natural, like, flush, like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but like, like a natural flush that your cheeks would take on, like, from the sun or from, I don't know, getting overheated a bit. Um, but it's really pretty. I'm going to just sort of blend it out a little bit with a kabuki. Perfect. And I'm going to take a little bit more of my ethereal light. I did this when I did my foundation, but just a little bit more and dust it over. This is what I like to use for that little highlighting step that I like to do. I do have a video about that. I will link to that below if you want to see more on that. I want my lips to be fairly natural. I'm going to use my Dervish Lip Liner by MAC, which is just my absolute favorite lip liner ever. I'm not even a lip liner person, and this is good. I love it because it's really close to the natural tone of my natural lip shade, just a tiny bit darker. And then I'm going to use Cream Cut by MAC. Added a little far out. I see, oh my gosh. One of my biggest pet peeves, this is so off subject, is when I see someone like applying lipstick like this, I'm like, just just break it off. I mean, you might as well just break it off. Really pretty pink without being too pink or too nude. And then for a little touch of gloss, I'm going to use this MAC Cream Sheen Glass and Nectar Sweet. It pairs really, really pretty with that color. All right, guys, so that's it. It's just my long time go-to favorite smoky eye look ever. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to see all of the products that I used and everything, it will be listed below, as always. So, yeah, I've got two more videos coming up this week, as well as some fun posts on the blog, two home, de two home decor Blah. posts are coming up on the blog too, so check that out. All that goodness is linked below. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.